Welcome to Charts Today. My name is David Linton, and today's edition for Monday, the 13th of March, comes to you from London. And we start, as always, by looking at the dollar index, uh, and then we'll look at uh, US indices, uh, European indices, uh, commodities, some US tech stocks, and we'll have a look at some FTSE stocks as well. So um, we start by looking at the dollar, uh, and the uh, key thing of the dollar is uh, that it is still bullish. Um, on the long and medium term, but we turn bearish again on the short term, just turning below the cloud. Quite interesting on this chart, just pulling below here. Um, so just potentially just changing the trend. Um, and the US market awaiting interest rate decision uh, this week, which will, when we look at Treasury yields, we'll have a look at that. But uh, it, it's pretty much priced in that there is going to be a rate rise in the US this, this week, but the dollar is already um, falling and sentiment ready so it's quite interesting um, in the short term but the long term picture is still very bullish. Uh, Euro is just nudging this 107 level, it has been above 107 this morning so um, that's quite interesting that we are just above that that level there and we are bullish on the cloud here. We've activated this target to 109 so we are just seeing the Euro steadily improving but we are still very bearish in the medium and long term just trying to get through on the cloud on the medium term on the price but uh, still a pretty bearish picture dollar yen has maintained its bullishness so the dollar is staying bullish here weak yen basically and sterling this morning has kicked up through the cloud for the first time in a couple of weeks so we are just heading back above this 122 level that puts us in a short term bullish frame but this downside picture is still pretty bearish on the short and medium term and we we have still these downside targets hanging over so we expect this move above the cloud to be relatively short-lived taking a look at um, the euro sterling rate we see here um, that uh, euro is has been the strong currency but we are still below the cloud for sterling and back below the cloud quite convincingly on the medium term so still sterling weakness versus the euro is the key there and we've kicked up against the swiss franc as well but uh, we're not seeing that um, any great change on the medium and long term picture on the aussie rate the sterling still looks bearish 161.26 um, below the clouds, so stronger Australian dollar basically. Taking a look at um, the US stock market, S&P 500, uh, interestingly just holding its um, its bullishness here um, and on the clouds. So we are just seeing that picture there where we're just maintaining that bullishness a little bit below the cloud on the price. We do have a downside target that's not activated, but these upside targets are ruling at the moment. So US stock market still looks pretty good. NASDAQ making new highs again the Dow um, very similar picture to the S&P just holding those um, highs the Russell the broader market has been selling off the last week or so so we are just seeing a bit of a pullback there um, in terms of the um, the Nasdaq e mini up a quarter of a percent at the moment um, this morning in London so uh, we, we should see the US market maybe just open slightly higher uh, FTSE 100 is is bullish above the cloud. We're up very slightly this morning, um, and that is still holding a bullish position, as is the FTSE 250. Lots of upside targets. The market's still looking pretty good. DAX also just holding its bullish position as well. The Nikkei up very slightly overnight. That weaker yen just helping, just starting to break that range of the last three months. If we break that, the Nikkei should break and run higher. We are close to activating this upside target at 42%. Hang Seng had a strong showing up over 1% overnight and we see here that we are still just below the cloud but uh, looking better and better all the time on the medium and long term charts. And Shanghai was up uh, three quarters of a percent as well, not quite through on the short term. Still work to do with the long term but we are wandering out of this um, bearishness. Uh, the Indian sunsets market looking good all round still, bullish on all three time frames. And the Australian market, although it was down uh, a third of a percent, we are seeing uh, still maintaining the bullish position. Uh, crude has had a terrible week last week and we're still below the cloud. We've got downside targets into the high 40s for Brent crude. Um, we are uh, just seeing this short term picture, that breakdown really significant, uh, especially at this time of year when crude is meant to be strong. So uh, we do see um, crude now weakening, and that's um, 
quite a surprise. And WTI, much the same picture. And uh, US Nat Gas is holding a short term trend. It had a, a pretty tough February, but it's actually back above $3 and holding that end of the market. So that's quite good. Copper, still below the cloud on the short term, but just getting above there. Take, let's look straight to gold. Look at the gold price. We see here that gold has um, just started to wander through the cloud on the um, on the price, just starting to build a recovery. Is this the floor? We'll have to wait and see, but it does look like we're finding support on the cloud here in the medium term. The key thing is we've got to get higher than that 1258 level. Uh, we don't have any clear upside targets. A lot of these were negated with this last fall, so it's what targets we build from here can gold um, recover so we just need to see that and the same as silver really we're not quite through on the cloud there either um, the german bonds just uh, bond prices bond prices falling rec uh, yield rates rising in the us so we're seeing 257 we were as high as 262 um, all eyes on the fed this week but a rate rise is now pretty widely expected by the market taking a look apple still bullish above the cloud on all three time frames as is um, google Amazon the same and Facebook um, and Microsoft um, also bullish above the cloud and Nvidia as well so we, we are just seeing um, this uh, Nvidia not quite back yet above the cloud yet but we are seeing these tech stocks taking a look at the FTSE um, this is my DTN feed first thing I do um, when I'm looking at the FTSE each morning is just go on the percentage change so I can see where the leaders are. So Anglo-American, so we're seeing here a lot of uh, resource stocks are the leaders at the moment, 4% on Anglo, 3% um, on Fresno, T T Rio Tinto, 3% as well. Notice the theme here that all the short-term um, uh, charts are below the cloud. It's the long-term um, charts that are bullish. <coughs> And we are seemingly finding support on the cloud for a lot of these charts. So picture is looking better for resource stocks all the time there. But literally the top six stocks, uh, top seven stocks are all resource stocks in the FTSE this morning, all up over 2.5%. So that's quite significant. Uh, if we look at the other end of the spectrum, standard life down slightly. Um, we've got Centrica, uh, Royal Bank of Scotland, Banks, uh, BP, we see here is also just falling this morning down around one percent so the the real rises at the moment are in the tech stocks bt group in the news a lot last week so it's a good way just to go through the stocks each day and see where the leaders and laggards are and of course you can go to any one of these stocks just to get a very quick picture of what's happening overall that's it for today until tomorrow happy charting see you then